Hey guys, how's it going? Happy, I almost said Memorial Day, but it's Labor Day 2015. Um, I, you can't really tell, because I've spent a few minutes stretching and putting my workout stuff away, but I am a little bit of a sweaty mess. I just finished a fantastic workout. I slept until eight this morning. Uh, but it is the holiday weekend, so I allowed myself to do that. Um, Mr. Flo, before you ask, Mr. Flo, um, part of the reason I'm coming in here is number one, on my last video I said, hey, I'm back, you guys, it's awesome, and then you're probably like, oh, great, um, here's another week, and Kelly has not done her video. Well, a couple of things are going on. Um, number one, I told you guys, so excited, um, I hired two wonderful um, women that are going to help me in an assistant role. One of them specifically with stuff around my house. Um, all of this with the goals of, you know, I'm just all about efficiency, productivity, reaching my goals in my personal life, my fitness life, my business life. Like, that's all there is to it. And a big part of taking things up a notch is you gotta outsource, you gotta delegate. You can't do everything and be as effective as you need to be. And I am all about it. So, hired, um, one woman who's going to help me with uh, laundry, grocery shopping, errand running, all the stuff that drives me absolutely insane. I'm subheading underneath that is now, uh, instead of freaking out about meal prep, um, you guys know it's been the bane of my existence and it negatively affects my health. So now I am doing, I'd say 85% of my meals will be um, meal prep and delivered for me um, and I will be reviewing these companies that are national in scope. I'm not going to really review anybody that's just local to Chicago. I don't think that necessarily helps all of you guys that watch from all over the country. I'm still a little bit out of breath. Um, but that's also huge time saver, helps me not waste my money, helps me not waste food. Um, so that's like a subheading under number one. Number two, I hired um, Angie, uh, who is a virtual assistant, even though she lives very close to me, she lives like probably 20 minutes away, but she just uh, finished up her first probably week and a half with me, really. I, we kind of tested each other out to see how it would work. And she's phenomenal. But, you know, a lot of what we had to do, you know, in my mind, <laughs> the people that work at Fit Valential will probably second this and be like, oh my God, she's the worst. Um, I always think that everything can be like, snap, I hired an assistant and everything's going to be in place. Well, I had to, we, Angie and I had to get everything set up. I had to get logins to her, you know, password protected, all of this kind of stuff. Show her the rope, show her how I want things done, yada, 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 so that we can support each other. Um, so now she's on vacation and she comes back uh, next week. So once she comes back, all of these systems that we put in place so that I can be more efficient with my video content, with my blog content, with everything that I want to do but have been limited in doing in the past, um, it's going to be wonderful. So I, I do apologize that I said, you know, hey, it's back, you know, blah, blah, blah. Angie and I, we really needed some time um, to set all these procedures up, but I am very, very excited because um, it allowed me to do a lot more things for our FitFluential clients that you guys should know about um, instead of me going, oh, gosh. When will I ever have time to do a video? When will I ever have time to do this? I just can't. Well, guess what? I can't. So it's really, really awesome, and I'm so excited about it. Number two, major sub, not subheading, point number two. So that's where I've been. You know, I'm not full of baloney. I am going to be here regularly. Number two, um, also said my videos are going to be short to the point about a topic. The topic of this post is why you should do what you hate. Now, oh, Debbie, she's butt dialing me. I know she is. So I just gonna have to say, and she doesn't watch my videos anyway, so it's okay. But I'll tell her that I deleted the call or didn't take the call. So um, I put up a post on my blog and I hope that you guys head over there, um, my YouTuber people, I really hope you head over to kellyalexa.com. It would mean the world to me. Plus there's a lot there that I can't, especially when I'm trying to make my videos more concise, I kind of take my YouTube videos as the beginning point. And then you head over to my blog and you'll see, you know, more stuff like pinnable workouts, pinnable recipes, a lot of these from some of my fantastic Fitfluential ambassadors because, again, my idea of a recipe is like, you know, putting ketchup on a hot dog or something. Um, I don't make up recipes. I'm a great cook. I just don't make up stuff. So I'll feature a bunch of other people and their workouts, my own workouts. Now that I'm going to be doing. We'll get to that later. 
But I hope that you will head on over to kellyalexa.com. Link is down below underneath this video. Um, and make sure you subscribe because um, we're getting to the point where I'm able to um, publish almost five days a week now consistently. Um, and a lot of stuff that I talk about, I'm pulling together um, so that I don't have to like keep shooting videos, keep shooting periscopes, although I am. But I can't keep doing the same topics over and over. And so many people will ask questions, um, ask for references. You know, what was that book? What did you say? Where did you, who do I call? So I'm putting together a whole buttload of specific topic post, excuse me, topic focused ebooks. Woo! I'm getting into the ebook style, lifestyle. Um, seeing that I buy so many of them myself. Half of the stuff that I did, uh, in researching, you know, insulin resistance, hypothyroid, all that, um, and ton, some of my favorite workouts, um, I, I buy via ebooks, and I was always, anyway, getting, I'm getting away from the topic. So if you head on over to my blog, look up, and maybe what I'll do is I'll link it down below. Um, I did a post recently on do what you hate, and I may or may not have shared this in my last video, but this focus for the month of August that I challenged myself for, and I'm gonna make two points about this. I'm gonna talk about do what you hate, tracking, how helpful it is, um, I, and then the other sub-challenge I did for myself in August. And, and creating my own challenge um, and having a few other people join me online, it really, um, you know, it wasn't like I was doing it for a specific reward, but it kept me, the variety, and it, it just kept me focused. Every day I'm like, you know, planning what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, this is what I have to do. Here's the deal. There are results on my body because of what I chose to do. Now, if you haven't read my blog yet on this post, when I meant what I said, whew, what I meant when I said, do what you hate, and then the subheading, the other thing I focused on in the month of August was, um, making sure that every single workout, there were no repeats. You know how they do that on the radio? They're like, no repeat Tuesday. Um, no, that's probably bad. They usually do two for Tuesday. Whatever. I said, no repeating of workouts. You guys, a lot of you have written to me when I've talked about this before. And if you're like me, you know, sometimes I buy, this is, I, I ripped the, the cover off of it, but this is, um, and I'll put the link below for this. This is the, um, set of Ruthless DVDs. Um, it's available on Amazon, incredibly reasonable. Um, again, check the link below. But there's, how many workouts? 20 different DVDs in here, each with um, a 20 minute hit workout. Okay, everything has a different focus. For example, number one, hardcore circuit. Number two, lunatic intervals. Um, fast burn circuit. Today I did wicked lower body the day before, or the last time I did one of these, I did killer 100s. On and on and on. I have had a tendency the past six, seven years. I buy DVDs and I do like the first workout. I did this with Insanity. I've done this with tons of Kathy Friedrich videos. I've done this with this. I, I do the first video and I either love the first video so much that I just keep going back and doing that one, or like this is what I did with Insanity. I love, well, I really did. I loved the music in the first one and I would always go, oh, I don't want to try something new. I really like that one. So I keep doing the same things over and over. That was my first tendency to, to buy DVDs and I would have all these things in there where I'd only done one DVD. It's like buying an album back in the day or a CD and you'd only listen to the first song. How many of you guys have done that? Okay, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know if I'm the only one. But not only did I do that, so I was always doing my favorites, things that I liked, but then the body parts that I hated to train, which for me, I don't know about for you, and I would love to hear in the comments below what you hate to train. Um, I hate ch training triceps. I hate training chest. I love what wonderful hamstrings look like, but I don't like training my hamstrings. Um, and calves, I have very, very incredibly developed calves. Um, it's a good thing because I have proportioned legs. I'm, I'm happy with my legs. You know, t small ankles, great calves, they're very muscular, but I don't like training calves because my calves are so incredibly overdeveloped in my opinion. They've been that way my whole life. Like I don't even order boots that, that zip up to the knee because, oh my God, I'm at 10 minutes already, um, because my calves are so overdeveloped. So my challenge here was two things. It was twofold. For the month of August, I said, you know, I want to do the things I hate. I want to focus on if I'm going to do, for example, what I did today. I worked out at home. I didn't go to the gym. 
um, if I'm going to do muscle max, I need to not do what I typically do, which is when she goes to chest. Oh, I'm just going to fast forward it through that. I don't like that. I'll just focus on what I like. Um, I don't like triceps. So I'm not going to do triceps. I'm not going to do core because I don't like it. And that's the other thing I haven't liked. I haven't liked core when I've been going through this whole hormonal imbalance nightmare because I didn't like looking at my tummy when I had fat on my tummy. So it was all stupid avoidance. It was ridiculous. But my goal for this month was that every workout was different and that I focused on doing what I hated. And let me tell you guys what's so encouraging. And I'm actually getting to the end of my video. Um, the fact that I've done this for a month, um, number one, I enjoyed it. Um, number two, I started to realize that all the things I was like, I don't like to do push-ups. I don't like to do, um, let's see, what were the things? Um, triceps, you know, the kickbacks and whatever. And, and I started to, as I was doing these things more, I was realizing that quite frankly, a, a lot of the reasons I think I didn't like doing them is I don't, I, I wouldn't see in the mirror. If I did triceps, you know, kickbacks, tr you know, dips, whatever it is. I never saw um, definition. I never saw my triceps. I could I could always see my biceps, right? Um, even when I still had a, a lot of fat to lose, and I'm I'm not at my goals yet, but I have lost a, a tremendous amount of fat and weight, and I'm seeing tremendous muscle definition. I'm so excited, um, and I could still even when I still had a lot more fat on my arms, I could still see that my shoulders. Um, were developing and so on. And I think a lot of the things that I used to avoid, it's because I couldn't see. There were no tangible, when I work my chest, hello, <laughs> kind of got a chest thing going on here. I'm not gonna be one of those women or like a man. I'm not developing pecs and that it is what it is. So you can work chest and becoming very strong, but it's not like, and that pisses me off when I see things like that on Pinterest, like ladies, lift your breasts up, do it, you know, work out chest. You can't make, breasts are made of fat, okay? Unless you've got a boob job, you can't lift fat up. You can make your pectoral muscles um, stronger and more defined and yada yada, but I hate seeing that. Any ladies that have regular boobs that are bigger than a size A, you know what I'm talking about. We always need a bra. So um, I will tell you this, from focusing on diversity, from making sure that I was doing not only the things that I love, which is shoulders, back, biceps, and legs and glutes. I did all of that stuff. You guys, I am seeing definition and muscles in my body in areas that I never did before. Go figure. When I look at myself from the side, my hamstrings are starting to look tight. I spent time with Debbie yesterday and she just kept looking at me going, your body looks so different. She goes, your butt is so much smaller and tighter and you know, you're, you're, you're tight ever. Even my mom was like, your butt's so, she keeps doing this. She's like, it's, it's there and it's, it's up. And um, you know, my hamstrings, I've always wanted more hamstrings. And now I'm looking inside going, I'm getting hamstrings. And when I stand now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you know, I used to always be able to see um, you know, that my delts were starting to come out. And believe me, when I've had the, um, this, going through this bioidentical stuff, I've always, you know, I, sometimes I could see that my arms were getting developed, but then I could see that there was still more fat back here. So sometimes the fat would come up there and I'd go, oh, that's not my muscle, that's fat. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But now, when I stand in the mirror, and it's very hard for you to see this because you probably can't see as much of the shadow, but right here, like I saw that it was, there was um, a bump or, you know, so my shoulder goes like that and then it was like, and, and of course I thought, oh, that's just fat. Well, I went to touch it and like, that's muscle. That's my tricep. And I, and I saw it on both sides and I sent a picture to Whitney and I said, oh my gosh, my whole arms, all of my arms are getting really chiseled and the fat is coming off and I still have fat to lose, but you guys, the truck, like, I, I don't know if you can see it, that's from working my triceps. Finally, all this time, I kept putting it off. I didn't like my triceps. I couldn't see it. Guess what? All this time, the past month, and I'm certain, you know, it's not like I never worked this out, you guys, so I don't want to mislead anybody and say, Kelly Alexa worked out for a month and she has defined arms. I've been working out for a long time, but really focusing on it and really going heavy and not just going through the motions like, oh, we're doing kickbacks. Yeah, 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 get through it, get through it. Okay, let's really focus on biceps. No, I focused on every rep and every time I wanted to quit today, Kathy was doing kickbacks and there were 15, you know, where you had to go, 
up here, you know, like 15 like that without coming down. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I wanna die, I wanna stop. But I didn't stop because I have to do what I hate. You guys, I did 15 minutes again, gosh darn it. So I just wanna encourage you. Number one, find your own way of tracking what you're doing. This is a huge game changer for me. It's so, it's my own funny little code. And um, I started off this first week of September even though I was consistent and worked out every day, I was downtown a lot. Um, a really crazy week of a lot of meetings where I had to drive to meetings and whatever. I'm disappointed in my first week only in that what I said I was going to start in September was really upping my cardio in addition to my weight training. And I didn't do that my first week. But the things that's different about me is instead of freaking out like I used to, and assuming, oh, I screwed everything up, forget it, I destroyed everything, I always, you know, it's like no big deal. Like now, I'm looking at that and going, okay, this week is gonna be quadruple the intensity and, and productivity in my workouts that I did last week. Like, I'm able to shake it off, I'm able to just keep moving. And that's why I've made so much progress this year, even when I wanted to give up with the, the bioidentical treatment two and a half months in, I, you know, I just, I sucked it up, I used my accountability partners, I talked to Whitney, I talked to Valerie, I talked to um, you know, all of my friends, Sherry, of course, all the time, who would just push me and say, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. And I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I did this challenge. I encourage you guys because it's something now I'm gonna do throughout the year, is do what you hate, focus on doing what you hate, focus on diversity. It's so fun for me to now plan my week in advance and I have, I've had some people actually, and I'm fitness coaching, ask me to design, you know, like a month plan for them. Some of it depends on the equipment that you have at home. Some of it depends on, you know, if you're working out at home or the gym. Um, but I'm loving doing that because it, it's so much fun. So, um, of course, if you're interested in that, um, I do have coaching options and maybe some package options that I'm putting together. Um, so you can inquire about that, kelly at kellyalexa.com. I will see you guys tomorrow. Again, please check below for the links. Um, head on over to kellyalexa.com. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you're subscribed here. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Sorry I came back and I said I was going to do a brief video, but I haven't seen you all in a while. And I had to share this with you, but I will be back tomorrow and later this week. Um, give me a little bit of some understanding this week because Angie's gone. But then next week we'll be back in the flow. Okay, see you guys later. Have a great rest of the holiday weekend.